The magical experience to Mount Kenya and Arumoru Gate begins from such exciting journey. On this rough terrain, you may be lucky as we were to spot wildlife even before we accessed the destined Mount Kenya National Park. As you're coming in, there's a nice reception of buffaloes and waterbuck as you're driving in. So that gives you a very interesting ambience as you settle back. So it's quite interesting. I think we had an opportunity to see the rhinos and uh, is it, uh, uh, the water bugs. Uh, so today we want to do a drive. So we're hoping to be able to probably be able to see. However, uh, we would advise that if you want to see most of them, maybe you do early morning. We were not able to do for one reason or another. The park established in 1949 protects the region surrounding the mountain. Among the reasons why the Kenyan government created a national park on and around Mount Kenya was to preserve this great scenic beauty, conservation of the biodiversity and preservation of water catchment areas. This is a, an important habitat for uh, major uh, wildlife species in this country. Some plants here are also endemic. We have about 11 plants which are endemic to this mountain that cannot be found uh, anywhere else except Mount Kenya. Mount Kenya is a simply stunning landscape that prides in endemic flora and fauna as well as its soaring toothed summit peaks and glaciers. This year, sometimes in May, a group of visitors who five uh, lions on the mountain and uh, they continued with their hike. The lions did not attack them. They have no business in attacking people. But uh, these, the lions come here occasionally, either from the Kipia side or the northern side toward East Yellow. The peaks are sandwiched by valleys and ridges proudly visible from these green plains and savannas at Mount Kenya National Park with clear photography early in the morning. Many would defend the position that this second highest mountain in Africa is certainly very enjoyable and interesting. The Sidimon Route offers the best combination of scenery and adaptation as we ascend through the Sidimon Gate, which is a 40 minutes drive from the Narumoru Gate. Here, the sounds of moving wild animals make you feel connected with nature. Being a mountain, whether it's a small hill, whether it's a big mountain, requires preparation, planning, and uh, you need to give it a thought before you come to climb Mount Kenya. And I would say that uh, ensure that you are physically fit. You have not been sitting around in your office throughout. Ensure that uh, at least uh, you are physically fit. I don't think there are very few Kenyans who are above 85 years old. So meaning most of us below the age of 85, we can make it to the summit. The mountain has four meter peaks with the Batian standing at 5,199 meters. Nelion stands at 5,188 meters and accessible points Lenana Peaks standing at 4,985 meters. The second highest mountain in Africa and the highest peak in Kenya is just eight hour walk from this spot. The clouds are so close to the hills and the place is so cold. Therefore, it's advisable that you put on special clothes for mountain climbing for safety and health purposes. Irene Nchuma Odim, Magical Sense at the Mount Kenya.